so welcome back and in today's session we are going to discuss a very important concept in geometry and that concept is all about angles now the best way for me to introduce you to angles is just pick up a book just pick up your mathematics book or any book that is around or for that matter even your notebook and look at it from one side that is the thinner side so let us say that you have this book here and we will try to draw a book with straight lines so let us say that we have this book here okay so this is your book and now what you do is you turn the side over and try to look at it from this side right so when you have a look at the book when you see at your eyes you will see something like this assuming that it is a very big book and very thick book and these are the pages for it now what i would want you to do is just to take a few pages let us say from here and open the book a bit okay so in that case your book will be looking something like this so this is the half portion which is not open and then there is this little portion of the book which you have opened this much these are some of the pages that you have kept with your book okay now observe this structure very closely so you had a math book you had a horizontal look at it that is you are looking at it from exactly from this side okay and then you open the book this way this much you just didn't open it cabrini are still looking at it horizontally now let me give you a concept imagine that there is a point here think of it just as an imaginary point there is just this imaginary point over here okay and from this point let's say that i am drawing a straight line okay and from the same point i will draw another line which is passing through the other half of the book which has opened so what has happened here we see that there are this two sides you know they are at a distance to each other and then they have a common point right so important thing to note here is that this this type of structure here should be known to you very well you can say that it is a corner right this is a corner so can i say that whenever we have a corner there has to be a imaginary two line segments which join at a single point right now this this type of structure right in which we have two sides and with they join at a single point which have a common point it is called as an angle in geometry so this is the concept of an angle now if you look around yourself you will find out lots of structures which are angular the another example take this book itself we continue with our example and you see that if you can draw two imaginary lines for at this point right then you see that these two lines here they are they forming a corner so there is this angle so we always denote angle by making a curve like this then we can take this corner here again you see that there is a common point and then there is this one line segment this one and then there is this another one so this is also a angle similarly you can see that there is another angle and there is one more angle so i can simply say that angles are made whenever corners are formed keep this thing in mind that is what is we mean by an angle now the geometrical definition or the mathematical definition on, of an angle would be that a angle is made up of two rays starting from a common end point so that is what we saw here now let me just draw it again for you and this time we'll try to use a different color so let's say that we have this common end point here this is our point and i'm drawing this one line and what i do is i will be drawing another line straight line from here again 
Okay. So now here is the point. The definition says that an angle is made up of two rays. So let me say that this is ray 1 and this is ray 2. So an angle is made when two rays start from a common end point. This is the concept of an angle. Now this point, this point is termed as the vertex of an angle. Okay. Whereas these two rays which are forming the angle that is the ray 1 and ray 2 they are known as the sides these two rays they are called as the sides of the angle okay so that is what the terminology related to the angle now let us try to understand how do we denote or how do we represent an angle in geometry so what we do is we take any point on the angle so let me change the color over here we put let us say that we are putting a point P the vertex we say as a point O and let me take another point on this another ray let us say Q so now this angle right it is denoted as angle P O Q and it is important to note that the middle letter denotes the vertex that is what we must definitely keep in mind that the vertex is always written in the middle so just to reiterate this is the vertex of the angle now the thing is it would be an obvious question as to what, that why, why we are taking three letters why you are giving such a long name to the angle right why why don't we just simply name it by a vertex for example why don't we say this is an angle o rather than saying angle p o q now in order to get an answer to this question let us try to come up with these angles so we have two angles here as is shown Okay, let us say that I am writing this as this is the point A. Let me change the color so that let's say that this is point B and let me call this as point C and let us call this vertex as the point P. So now we have two angles here, okay, or we have more angles. So one angle is angle APB, okay. Then we have angle BPC or we might also have angle APC, right? So there are three possible angles that we have here. Now, let us say if I say that this is an angle P, does it imply anything? If I say angle P, it could also be angle APB, it could also be angle APC or it could also be angle BPC. And that is the reason in order to avoid confusion in these type of scenarios, we generally do not name the angle with its vertex rather we give a name like this so here we have angle a p b then here the another angle would be angle b p c and one more angle could be angle a p and c which is this bigger angle so this this is angle right so having discussed this now let us go uh, towards discussing one more important concept about angles and that would be knowing the interior and the exterior of an angle now let us take an angle a simple angle let us let's let's say abc so we draw an angle here so we take two rays and now i am drawing an angle over here and let me just label it let there be this point a let the vertex be b and let there be another point on this ray c so this is an angle a b c now i'll be doing an interesting thing over here what i would like to do is to keep this a b as a base and try to shade all the other region that in which BC lies so so assume that this is going on till infinity outside this and I would like to 
just shade all the region where this the ray ba has a base so we have covered it with this now in the second part what i will be doing is i take bc as a base and then shade the other part so in this case let me change the color let us change it to yellow so now we are doing it with a yellow color so this is the part that i am shading okay so now if you see very closely here what exactly is happening right you will see that there is a portion common to these two rays ab and bc where both of these colors are kind of superimposing on each other so this part we call it as the interior of the angle interior of angle a b and 